That's the first word I would put next to his name is H. Ross Perot, visionary. He can look out into the future and see what the future is going to look like. The face of North Texas would be completely different if it wasn't for the Perots. To have that vision, to know this area is going to be something very special, not many people have that ability. And not only that, they may have the ability to see it, but they don't have the ability to implement it and put a plan in place like the Perots have done. Ross Perot started Electronic Data Systems with a $1,000 check and a bold vision to provide service for businesses with computers, creating the concept of what we now call outsourcing. Perot started small, but grew EDS into a multi-billion dollar company. In the early 80s, EDS North Dallas headquarters on Forest Lane became constraining, and 95% of all the company's employees lived north of LBJ Freeway. The original idea was to move from Forest Lane north to be in the center of where most of our employees existed. Former EDS President Morton Meyerson came to Perot with a Texas-sized suggestion. Buy a sprawling ranch near Preston Road and State Highway 121 to build a new headquarters. Perot liked the idea, but as usual, he had even bigger plans. That is part of the Ross Perot genius. Ross took my idea of buying 640 acres and said, as long as we're doing that, why don't we look and see what other acreage we could buy? So we wound up with 2,200 acres. By buying large quantities of land, EDS would then sell to like-minded businesses like J.C. Penney and Frito-Lay. The idea? Defer the cost of building the new EDS headquarters by attracting just two other corporate giants. But the vision for what would be called legacy would change into something much more grand and innovative, a massive business park and family, community, and entertainment hub unlike any other in Texas. And the phone rings. Uh, Ross Perot here. I said, excuse me? I said, what do you want? He says, I want you to come to, build, come to Plano and build a city for 150,000 people. I thought, my God, what a mind-boggling opportunity. Ross Perot handpicked Robbie Robinson to develop Legacy. It began with three types of zoning, a central core with vibrant shops, restaurants, apartments, and townhouses, vast several hundred acre plots for large corporations, and office warehouse sites for small corporations. Ross Perot said this, and I, I, I quote him often. He said, success breeds success. When he first decided he was going to bring EDS to that tract of land, he went to his friend Herman Lay and said, how about bringing Frito-Lay, pick the prime piece of property. And he did, of course, as we all know, Frito-Lay sits above a beautiful lake. And then the next was J.C. Penney. Legacy quickly earned a worldwide reputation for its quality and became a leading destination on major corporations relocation lists. 30 years later, Legacy remains an attractive and vibrant location for business and families alike, with more than 100 companies. It continues to allow us to attract major global corporations. Uh, for example, this past year alone, uh, Toyota, FedEx, and USAA, just to name a couple. Every so often, Ross will call me from a helicopter, and he's looking down at Legacy, and he'll call me and he'll say, hey, Robbie, I can't believe we did this. Click. It was an alliance. It, the alliance was government and the, and the private sector. It was the Federal Aviation, uh, Hillwood, his company, and the city of Fort Worth. Daring to think big was nothing new for the Perots. Ross Perot Jr. planned the world's first industrial airport, a far-reaching transportation hub where massive industrial and corporate development opportunities abound. Alliance was designed to become a magnet for large companies and an economic engine for the region. Perot's Hillwood Properties bought 18,000 acres of land for the project. Former Fort Worth Mayor Kay Granger remembers her first view of the massive site when Perot took her for a tour of the property in his helicopter. It was uninhabited grassland for as far as the eye could see. If it had been anyone else, I probably would have said, sure. But with him, it was, sure. 
and it happened exactly the way he described it, exactly. In just 25 years, Alliance Texas has exceeded $55 billion in economic impact, attracting more than 400 companies with 40,000 employees, and includes every real estate asset class, including corporate campuses, industrial facilities, residential neighborhoods, hospitals, and one of the most successful retail centers in North Texas. Today, Alliance Texas is more than a development, it's a community built on healthy principles and a commitment to providing the highest quality of life for one of the nation's fastest growing areas. Other people can look in the future and say, this is what should be. It could be this. But they really believe it should be this and they can see it. They can see that vision and how to make it happen. In 1996, Hillwood and the city of Dallas announced plans to build a state-of-the-art sports venue, an up-and-coming new urban district with an entertainment area and mixed-use development park. But the challenges were daunting. The site was a contaminated EPA brownfield, an eyesore located directly adjacent to downtown Dallas. To prepare for the development, Hillwood had to clean up more than 15 million gallons of tainted groundwater and move 750,000 cubic yards of dirt. It was the largest and most successful brownfield project in the United States. But it goes beyond just dreaming. Their feet are firmly planted into the ground. They ask the tough questions. They demand excellence. And they are willing to, to, to be a part of a team to do it. And that, that, that's a rare combination. American Airlines Center is the most technologically advanced sports arena in the country the home of the Dallas Mavericks, Dallas Stars, and a plethora of entertainment events. The AAC is the cornerstone of Victory Park, which now has more than 1,000 residences, 620,000 square feet of office space, the W Dallas Victory Hotel, and street front retailers and restaurants. Victory will soon be growing with three high-rise apartment buildings and an office tower. Part of the parole mind is make money get ahead of power curves, see trends, do smart things to invest. But let's not take the money and buy airplanes for ourselves and toys and go to country clubs and drink mint juleps. Let's take the money and direct it and help people that need it. The Perot's generosity helped mold Dallas-Fort Worth into a world-class arts and cultural center. Morton Meyerson led the effort to build a new symphony center in downtown Dallas. But in the mid 80s, the economy was sluggish and finding the funds to build it was a difficult task. So Meyerson asked Perot for $10 million. Perot said yes, but the donation came with only one condition. It would be named the Morton H. Meyerson Symphony Center. I'm from Fort Worth and I'm kind of shy. Uh, let's really, let's name it for someone in your family. And he said, you're not listening to me. If you want the money, it will be named for you. So you would like the money or you don't want the money. And I said, I'd like the money. The Symphony Hall, Morton Meyerson, started the whole arts district and it is the premier arts district in America now. The Perot's philanthropy doesn't stop at culture. The family gives generously to hospitals and to enhance education in Texas. Ross and Margot Perot's five children made a $50 million gift to help build the Perot Museum of Nature and Science, and they did it in their parents' honor. A tourist uh, attraction, a piece of education, a place to fill out that part of downtown, a great piece of architecture, and so many different levels, it's meant so much to the city. The Perot's monumental impact on North Texas development is very much alive today. Hillwood is the master developer of Frisco Station, a 242-acre mixed-use development in Frisco, surrounding the enormous new Dallas Cowboys headquarters complex just off the Dallas North Tollway. The Hillwood development team has been very visionary in uh, uh, all the projects, and whenever they touch something, it tends to work. Hillwood will join the Rudman Partnership and Van Trust Real Estate to develop Frisco Station. The development will feature more than 4 million square feet of office and corporate campuses, 
2,400 multi-family residential homes, unique dining and entertainment venues, medical and wellness facilities, with ample open space and green belt amenities. Those that are looking to locate there know it will be a quality project and know it will be a successful project. Long before green became a buzzword, Hillwood pioneered ways to be more earth-friendly while providing healthy living residential communities. New bustling communities like Harvest, just north of Alliance, Texas, incorporate responsible planning and building standards with the latest technology in the home and landscaping that's sensitive to nature. Benefiting from its rich farming history, Harvest will become the 21st century version of its agricultural past. The development landscape is also changing along Dallas storied Turtle Creek. The Perros are building a three-story business campus. The new campus will house Hillwood's global headquarters and family offices and space for the Perros' business interests. A museum will house memorabilia and thousands of personal artifacts. The family plans to open the campus to the public for civic and charity events. Father and son, the Perros. Innovative developers, compassionate philanthropists, and a legacy of visionary leadership. If you look at every great city, there are city fathers and mothers that have given back what they've earned in that city to the citizens. The pros are prime examples of that. Even though ours is named Legacy and others are named something else, they all built a legacy and it was all based on quality. If they didn't do it right, they weren't going to do it at all. And that speaks volumes for who they are. Volumes. So what you get is a twofer. You get wonderful philanthropy funded by wonderful visionary development. It's a perfect formula. Ross Perot and Ross Perot Jr., the recipients of the 2015 Inaugural Urban Land Institute Vision Award.